drive to OC. This is actually eight days after we finished harvest. And yeah, the crate cart's out. It's unloading. Because we forgot soybeans were still on there. Unloaded everything the day after harvest. Completely forgot that there was like 100 bushel soybeans in there. So I'm going to take it to town real quick. And then we're going to start washing up machinery the next couple days. It's supposed to be 50 degrees. So we're going to try to do that while we can. I think we should, maybe we should get those beans. I've got an odor. Those have been there for like a month. Now you may be wondering why we were unloading beans out of a bulk bag, running them into the conveyor to put into that semi. Well, those were leftover double crop beans. They weren't treated, so we're just taking them to town. This truck is going to town. There's only like 150 bushel on it. And I just load up the power washer. Dad and BJ are heading over to harnesses. They're going to start power washing. I think BJ's gonna wash the grain cart tractor after he went mud running in it. And I'm gonna take this load of town and yeah, we'll start blowing stuff off and washing stuff up. Long time no see, guys. So a lot of you must have enjoyed watching me run the 1038 and the uh, Unverfirth grain cart through the mud the other day. Well, now it's time to pay the piper. So that happened, and it's got to get cleaned up. All that good nastiness down here. Yeah, buddy. Mmm. That happened. So that's that's on my agenda for the day. But first, Brian told me to get the camera out of his truck, do a little filming. He left some beef jerky, so we're going to enjoy this and then get to work. Looking pretty clean. Yeah, I'm about done. Um, that spot over there was there when we got it. Brian just informed me that in uh, Minnesota where it's cold, you guys have to uh, have to clean your tracks out pretty much either night, every night, or they'll freeze. Sorry guys. O-H-I-O. -O. Right now I'm getting all of our field weights off of the U-Harvest. Gotta do that before this thing goes back to Underfoot. We'll make sure we have all of our field weights. That way we can really get a good, accurate yield. We've kind of looked at our yields, but it's just based on what we've seen on uh, like our field view and our our, uh, our yield monitors. But when we get the weights off of this, we'll be able to put those weights into like field view and actually know for sure what our what our field's made. Doing a great job. That's right. right there. Dad's blowing his combine off. We're gonna, main goal is to wash that tonight. It's only about an hour and a half of daylight, and it'll probably take most of it to do that. And then tomorrow, it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow. That's when most of the stuff's gonna get washed. His combine, my combine. Uh, I don't know if the other, the other cart really isn't that muddy. We might brush it off real quick. But if you didn't know, it is about a hundred times easier to power wash stuff if you blow all the chaff off first. That's why he's blowing combine off, get all that stuff out of there tractor too especially like in the hitch area the draw bar stuff just gathers there if you try pressure washing it it just makes a big sticky mess stuff goes everywhere and sticks to the windows and it's not good. a lot of people point out how low the tires are on that tractor that's by design the lower the air pressure you run the better they ride the less compaction you get so if they look low especially when they're off canter maybe all the weights on one side they're going to look low no matter how much is in them but they are not flat, they have the required air pressure in them. mile hour winds biting through my, through my gloves. We need some WD-40 specialist lube, eh? Yeah. <laughs> now, seriously, we need some WD-40 here, some PU blaster or something. Gotta raise up the auger so I can clean the rest of the front of the cart. It's pretty dirty under there. Hey, brother. 
You need to vacuum this thing too. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Now he's setting this tractor for about 200 hours this fall, so yeah, they're gonna get dirty. Well, I was up there, I realized we forgot to wash the soap off the front of the tractor. Yes! Perfect! Well, the pressure washer just ran out of gas and our gas can's empty, so I'm gonna quit here pretty soon anyway. It's just about dark. I'm gonna leave this thing out because uh, we'll be back over here in the morning or whenever it warms up and finish washing it off. That's a bad thing about when you're pressure washing. This thing looked really clean while it was wet. Now you can see I missed a spot there, some right there. So, oh, and then of course, you know, we got all this over here, all that right there, and all this on this side, plus most of the auger. And we're gonna get up in the cart and wash the inside of it out. So we've still got a lot of work to do on this grain cart, and then we've got two combines. So. It's gonna be a fun day tomorrow. What we need is about three pressure washers. Then we can get this done pretty quick. It's not supposed to get too freezing tonight, but I am gonna put this in the drive-through just to help shield it a little bit in case it would get down to you know close to freezing. All right, we're back over here the next day. We'll finish up the cart. Dad's on his way over here. He's gonna wash off his combine after I get done with this. And then I'm going to blow off my combine while he's doing that. Surprise, surprise, Brother BJ's sick today. Sick. Uh -huh. It's okay, you can wax the tractor during the during during winter. I think my soapy water got a little muddy. Might as well take care of the important stuff and wash my truck first. Now we ran over home to make sure we got all the data off this uh, cart before we unhook it. And that was two hours ago. So now we're back. Whenever we hooked this cart up to that Challenger, we bent that jack. So dad's doing some modifications. While he's doing that, I am going to wash up this 8400R. Uh, Ag Pro is going to come and get it either tomorrow or Saturday or something like that. But I told him that we would knock the mud off of it and whatnot. We didn't get it super dirty, but yeah, it got a, it was, it's a lot dirtier when it got here. So clean it up a little bit. Shouldn't take too awful long. Got it unhooked from a Turbo Max. And then, yeah, watch it, watch it leave. Now, if I get a chance before this tractor leaves, I'm going to try to do a video comparing this tractor and that tractor. In fact, it might be out before this video. One thing's for sure, the 8400 is shorter. Well, maybe not. I don't know. Get them both unhooked. We'll park them side by side and find out. Well, sun's going down and it's cold. Looks like we're going to have to wash the combines tomorrow. It's ridiculous it's taking this long. I am going to Farmer to Farmer in Omaha, Nebraska, an event put on by FBN. I am an FBN member and I'm pretty excited to go there. So if any of y'all are heading over there, uh, look me up. Mm -hmm.